everlasting Father, we thank you very much for your grace. Thank you for your grace. That grace that brought us out of the miry clay of life, that put our feet upon the rock to stay, that ordained our goings. You did not leave us there, O oh God. You put a song in our mouth. Oh, the hidden, they will hear of it, O oh God. Oh, bless the Lord, O oh, our souls. And all that is within us, bless his holy name. Oh, bless the Lord, our souls, and forget not his benefits. Just lift up your hand and give God thanks for his benefits towards you. But for his grace, but for his mercy. Where would you have been? Where would I have been? But for his grace, but for his mercy. Everlasting Father, O oh God, we are mindful of your mercy. We are mindful of your grace, O oh God. We worship you, Lord. Thank you. And thank you. And thank you. In Jesus' name we worship. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God's word to us this Sunday is rest. Rest. Not rest in peace. <laughs> but simply rest. Talking about a peace. A calmness, a confidence, a security that comes from absolute trust in God. Hallelujah. The times are tough. The times are tough. A few days ago, I was telling, I was telling myself, now, honestly, we was happy right now in this country. It is possible for one to just go hungry because you don't have food in your house. You have money in the bank. You can't assess it. The ATM is not discharging. Or maybe you have one ill health or the other. You don't even have the strength to go and queue. There's no fuel. To move it's possible to just be hungry and just and just I mean it's tough and while I was just thinking of that I had some, some messages on my on my phone God will help me when I grow up I'll be like my husband who Answers, answers to his messages right on time. I'm still learning. This is my own attitude. I don't owe anybody. Me, Jenny Kokalowo. 50 miss call. Uh huh. Call no miss, phone no miss. That's my attitude. After I wasn't playing, I was busy. So you can't tell me. I, I, where have you been? I've been calling you since. Eh? Is it because of uh, that uh, 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 goal that you bought that you have not paid? I'm calling you. I don't owe anybody. If you spend that, I wear. You know, I, sometimes I really wonder why some women really bother themselves to go all the length. Nobody knows that you are wearing gold anyway. They all look alike. So who will come and look at my, my ear and say, is it Russian gold or Western gold? It doesn't. So why should I stress myself? So I don't know anybody. So I had a message on my phone. That was, that's what took me there. And when, when it was now my own time, I was now scrolling through. And I saw this message. And somebody was asking for help. And she said, there's no food, Pastor. 
There's nothing in our house. I've been watching my mother scroll through her phone since morning, looking for who to call. And when I saw that what was going on, I said, I would get in touch with you. I told my mom, and my mom said, really? I said, I will get in touch with her. My first response was, mm. maybe it's one of those mua mua people. You know, I once heard it preached. A man was saying that his father told him that in life, the door, I mean door, D-O-O-R, door, can say bam, or can say mua. You know, mua, when you, when you open it, you say mua, mua. I don't know that your own door talks, my own door talks. Maybe it's an old door. <laughs> And some dogs will say, ba, ba. You know, ba in Yoruba means take. Mua means bring. Some people, all, they are so selfish. All they think about is themselves. So anytime they remember you, it's always mua. Bring, bring, bring. Pastor, I want this. Do you have this? Very selfish people. They don't care whether you want to die. Say, Pastor, do you have anything to give me? That was one of those more people. I said, wait a minute. I would have had their number. I said, no, I don't, I don't have this number. Anyway, I got involved. And that was exactly what was happening. Things are tough. Really tough. And the reason why we are so annoyed is that many of these things are self-inflicted. If you change continents, I tell you, you will only change challenges. They have their own problem. The demons in those places, they wear suits. Some even wear cassock and call themselves bishop. The demons in those places. So you think, I'm going to America. Thank God for you. May you come back with your children. May your children's children's children remember that they ever had a root here. They are lost forever. Many of them, unfortunately. It doesn't have to be so, but those are the challenges I've been faced. Yes, they have their good side, but they have their challenges. We have our own issues. The reason why our own issues are so painful is they're self-inflicted. We have walked to church before. We have trekked to church before. When there was no fuel. Some years back, many years back. Trekked to church. Because to whom shall we go? But that is not the big deal. The big deal is that what happened many years after is the same issue. But God is saying to us, church, in the midst of all of this, my people must be different. We can have calmness. We can have peace. We can be, we, we can be secure in God's love. We can be confident that tomorrow will be better. And go to bed in, and sleep peacefully. Not because you have all the fuel on your tank. Not because you have everything working for you. Of absolute trust in God. And that rest won't just come. That rest won't just come. Very quickly, three things I believe God will have us to place emphasis on and will pray and receive his power to confirm his word with signs following. The first is that we must stay close to him. Church, we must stay close to him. Towards the end of last year, when God's word came to us on stronger grace, Grace is not meant to sit down and to pick your, pick your, your teeth. Grace 
Apostle Paul said, I labored more than others, but by God's grace upon my life. Grace is meant, is God's strength for us to face life. So we knew that, yes, this coming year, thank God for the grace. And God's word, divine settlement. After you have suffered a while, I will perfect, I will establish, I will strengthen, and I will settle you. Rest, but we must stay close to him. On our own, we cannot make it. <laughs> On our own, we cannot do it. All over the world, all kinds of challenges. On our own, we cannot make it. Matthew eleven twenty eight. 28. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I'm gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Learn of me. A few of us, we are in town during the week, but we don't ever come for midweek services. We have one and one reasons why we cannot make it. We are being taught God's ways. On our own, we cannot make it. We must choose to stay closer to God this year. And all of our days, brethren, the perilous times, the end times, the challenges are not likely to get better. <laughs> but our God will make us stronger. And we will always overcome. That's the black truth. First Peter 5, 7. It says, cast all... I we have it in, in the Amplified, please. In the Amplified. In the New King James, it's just two lines. Well, let us read this now. Casting the whole of your care, all your anxieties, all your worries, all your concerns, once and for all. God's word is so practical. He knows that we have anxieties. We will have worries. We will have concerns. I find it very, very annoying when you go to, a, maybe you are in a church and it's a burial of a young person and they are, and they are saying, jump, clap, uh, rejoice. We are not here to mourn. We are mourning. God is a real God. We are real people. Somebody dies at 35, 36, 61, 62. I should be clapping. And say, all of you who have come, the family, who thought that you are Christians, why are you also dull? You should be dancing. Your sister is in heaven. I know she's in heaven. But there's work to be done here on earth. The same God said, we love life. Satisfy you. Practical God. There will be anxieties. There will be worries. There will be concerns. But cast the whole of them once and for all hallelujah all your anxieties all your worries all your concerns once and for all on him for he cares for you affectionately and cares about you watchfully hallelujah cares about you watchfully once and for all so, child of God, as we stay close to him, we have that inner strength to live life like this, casting all our cares on him. I know you know many people, like myself now, I was telling them at the first service, I used to be a chief warrior. I remember then, many years back, now, when I hear a sound, you know, sometimes when you are, I mean, uh, vehicles backfire. Is that, that what you call it? 
it, it, it sounds like, like a, a gunshot. You know, that you hear. I will just reach for the, for the, for the, for the door, door of, the, of, the, of the car. My mother will say, Igwe, Igwe, where are you going? I want to jump out of moving vehicle. That was how fretful I was. God's word works. God's word works. I'm somebody that I can testify that God's word works. I don't have any worries. I don't have any cares. No fuel will trek. No money. We drink granite. Angari. No how, no how. I, if I check my house, I will find something chop. What is my attitude to it? Many years back, I was in the residency program usage. And we were doing a world round. I was a young doctor. And I saw in the front of this young man every form of conflicts. No, not conflicts now, cereal. You know, there's conflicts, there's rice krispies, there's Witabix, there's. Uh, eh? Uh -huh. Even the one that you haven't heard before, they were all on that, on, on that table. And the man could not take a spoon of any of, of it. He had no appetite. But everything was available. Oh, I left there saying, oh God, from today, I, I thank you for my gari and my, my granite in my, in my house. Oh, no more complaints. We go, know how. If you go around, go through your fridge, go through, you will find something chop and glorify God over it. No cares. Why you stay close to him? The psalmist said, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Hallelujah. The big deal about the shepherd is that he's always close by. He's always close by. He's always close by. Child of God, it is our responsibility to draw close to God. Not God's. He has done everything he will ever do. It is our responsibility to, to, to draw close to him. We are being taught right now on Thursdays about the glory of God. Some people don't ever bother the church on Sunday and go back home ne to the next Sunday. Why we were not serious Christians? Were you not in church on Sunday? How about now that you claim to be a disciple of Christ, you are still home again during, during the week? Then what's the difference? What's the difference? It is our responsibility to draw near. Psalm 73, verse 28. But it is good for me to draw near to God. I have put my trust in the Lord God that I may declare your works. Earlier on I talked about, about God's grace. God's grace is sufficient. 2 Corinthians 12, 9 tells us that, that God's grace is sufficient. Is always sufficient. If you hear anybody pray the prayer, Lord, let your grace be sufficient for all, it's because the person hasn't read the Bible very well. God's grace is sufficient. If we come regularly to the throne of grace, we will know this grace. We are saying, stay close to Him. Coming regularly before the throne of grace. Right now, we are, we are studying the glory of God. And we are taught that Moses, that, that glory of God is talking about the manifested presence of God. But that when Moses was, was before the Lord on the mount, that when he was living there, his face was shining. He was carrying the glory of God. That Israel had to say, please, have your face covered. But with time, that that. That shiny, that shiny uh, appearance diminished. So the more we come to his presence, the more we stay with God. The throne of grace is a place of prayer. Hebrews 4, 16 says, let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace. Talking about prayer. 
we must stay close to him in our prayer life. The psalmist said in Psalm 61 verse 2, he said, from the end of the earth I will cry to you. When my heart is overwhelmed, Swiss Army talks about, about being overwhelmed. It says, lead me to where the rock that is higher than I. Higher than I. Psalm 91 verse 1. He who dwells where? In the place of the Most High. Shall do what? Abide under the shadow of the Almighty. A shadow speaks of the presence of one there. The more we, we go to God regularly in prayers, the more we live our life in, in, in obedience to his word, then we will see, our, we will experience that closeness that will make, that will rub off on us, that will give us direction, that will lead us on, on, on how to walk through these perilous times. Psalm 58, verse 11. The Lord will guide you. How many times, church? New King James. Psalm 60, 58. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. Media, Isaiah 58. Isaiah 58, 11. Isaiah 58, 11. The New King James says, The Lord will guide you continually. And satisfy your soul in drought and strengthen your bones you shall be like a watered garden and like a spring of water whose waters do not fail glory to God glory to God somebody said that the the appearance the outlook of somebody who has a regular prayer life, who goes to God regularly in prayers, who is a serious believer, taking the, taking the things of God seriously, is that calmness. That calmness. Be like a watered garden. Cool and calm and collected. In spite of it all. Glory be to God. We must stay close to him, church. It is your responsibility, it's not mine, to stay close to him. To live in obedience. We heard about obedience, obedience, talking about the contributive, contributive factors to our, our, our divine settlement. Obedience to God. John 14, 15 tells us that, and verse 21 tells us that, that when we love him, and keep his, 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 his commandments, God will abide in us and he will manifest himself in our lives. Stay close to him. Secondly, stay focused on him. Stay focused on him. Stay focused on him. Stay focused on him. Our Lord, Jesus, our Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ lived a very focused life. The first time that we were addressed as Christians, it was being uh, uh, addressed to those who were disciples. In Acts 11:26, And when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. So it was that for a whole year, they assembled with the church and taught a great many people. And the disciples were first called Christians in Antioch. Disciples were called Christians, not converts, disciples. Who are disciples? Those who follow the teaching and the life of their master. Are you a disciple or are you just a convert? If we are disciples, then we follow the life of our master, our Lord Jesus Christ. He was very focused on his, on his assignment. In John 4, 34, his, 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 uh, his uh, disciples asked him, 
Lord, I mean, you are looking, you are, I'm just, I'm just para, 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 paraphrasing. You are looking so old, okay, all of that. He said, are you not, how about food? He says, I have food to eat. My food is to do the will of him who sent me and to complete it, finish it. He was so focused. Even when he was on the cross, with all the pains that he took, because he was completely man and completely God. As completely man, he died for our sins. He went through the pain and the agony. He carried all our sicknesses and all our infirmities. As God, he rose again on the third day. He shed his blood for us. He was so focused. And even while he was dying, in John 12, 27, now my soul is troubled. Don't forget, the topic is rest in these times. Rest in these troubled times. Now my soul is troubled. And what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour. But for this purpose, I came to this hour. Focus. Father, glorify your name. The word is God. So if we are focused on God's word, we are focused on God. Psalm 23, which we, I quoted earlier on, a very popular psalm which we all know. Verse 4 says, Though I walk through the valley and the shadow of death, I will not fear any evil. The shadow of death. Which means that death was standing there. Death was standing there. But I will not fear. We know that for there to be a shadow, there must be light. Is that not so? There must be light before you can have a shadow. Yes, death was in that valley. But there was light in that valley. Jesus is the light of the world. There was light in that valley. Glory be to God, there is light even right now. And we must focus on the light. We must focus on the light. And turn our backs to the shadow. John 8, 12. And Jesus spoke to them again saying, I am the light of the world. He who follows me shall not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. So people of God, the times are tough. It may look like the valley of the shadow of death, but focus on the light. Back the shadow. Back whatever it is, but focus on the light. Let God's word be everything to us. Because God's word is God. Things may look confusing. Right now, in, in, a, in, in a few weeks' time, we'll have elections. God's word tells us plainly and clearly in 1 Timothy 2.1 that we should pray for our leaders. Talking about focusing on the light. 1 Timothy 2.1 It says, Therefore, I exhort first of all that supplications, prayer, intercession, giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings. That is like for pre 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 presidents. And all who are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and reverence. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior, who desires all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. The truth is this, leadership is so powerful and God is saying pray for your leaders because who you choose, who you put there can affect your eternal destiny. So if in 2022, Because there's a chat going on in a class on WhatsApp. And there's an allusion to a personality. And somebody else feels aggrieved about it. 
and burns down a lady in broad daylight to ashes. And up till now, nothing has come out of it. Church, if that is happening in our nation, for us to know rest, we must follow, we must stay focused on him. God's word has made it clear. Who you choose as a leader can affect your eternal, de eternal destiny. At times we think, you take the whole world and give me Jesus. You take the whole, if that world means worldliness, they can have it. But if that world means to lead, to give direction, we are the light of the, of, of, of the earth. We are the salt of the earth. You are, a, you are a seated upon a hill. You mustn't be hidden. If that is in God's word as we have seen. And in the whole of northern Nigeria, a Christian was not found to represent the diversity of this nation. Then church, wake up. Wake up. I don't want a country where my grandchildren will be both alive. Because they and somebody else in the class had an argument. If it's happening now, and, they are, and we are being told that we are so inconsequential, that in the whole of the north, there is no believer in Christ who could be represented. Yes, I've heard some, some, some people say, after all, what work does VP do? Excuse me. You and I don't have more intelligence than God. We are the salt of the earth. We are the light of the world. We are the head and not the tail. Our Lord Jesus Christ was very focused. When he entered that, that temple and some people who were doing POS, that's why in Vine Branch, it will, it will I've never, I've never discussed it before with my husband, never. We haven't talked about it before. But I know who I married. If I ever see POS in Vine Branch, I will faint. I will, I will faint. And just, just Christ, whip them all out of the, of the temple. You have made my father's house a merchandise place. The house of prayer. Focus on the word. Just an, an aside. This morning, as, as, as my mother stood before, before the mirror and was dressing up, I, I still told him, I just like how you stand. Don't ask me about your own husband. I'm talking about my own. <laughs> you say your own. If you like how he's standing. If you don't like how he's standing, tell him, oh boy, evening food from now on. By seven, no more. You and I will be eating a bowl of purple. Because I want this your belly to go down. Glory be to God. But honestly, two are better than one. It's easier to do it together. It's easier to do it together. Stay focused on him. Stay close to him. And lastly, stay hopeful in him. We must stay hopeful in him. Hope. Hope is such a strong virtue for us as God's children. 
hope. We are never hopeless. Never. Never hopeless. Job 14, 7 says that there is hope for a tree. Even when it is caught at the scent of water, God's word represents, that, that, that scent of water, water rep talks of, about God's word. It will bud again. We are never hopeless. Never. The psalmist said in Psalm 27 verse 13, he says, I would have lost hearts unless I had believed that I could, would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. I would have lost hearts, but I believe. Why? Because those who believe, they enter into rest. Hebrews 4.3 When you believe, you enter into rest. We are, we, we stay hopeful. Because hope is a major, in fact, hope, if I were to speak like, like, like a chemist, I would say hope is the substrate. Hope is, hope is what faith is anchored on. Hebrews 11.1 1. Now, faith is what? The substance of things hoped for. We must never lose hope about that which we are tr tr trusting God for. If you want to know, rest. Never lose hope. Never. We are never hopeless. Never. And this hope doesn't make us ashamed. This hope is in us. Colossians 1, 27, the B part, says Christ in us, the hope of glory. The hope of glory. This hope transcends this life. And that is why we don't sorrow like the world. Titus 1, 2 about this hope that transcends this life in hope of eternal life which God who cannot lie promised before time began people of God this hope enables us to take action take action where is the area of, of our life where in our lives do we have Some times that are times at, at, at we are ex experiencing some discomfort as things are right now, or maybe in our marriages, you can come on the keyboard, my brother, or maybe with, with our children, or maybe with mathematics, or whatever issue in life, God is saying to us, you can enter into rest. You can have peace about it. You can have calmness and security about it. As you stay focused on, 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 on my word, on, on him. As we stay close to him. As our minds are made up that we will stay hopeful in him. And so we can. We can. We can. We can. As a nation, Nigeria can become the glory of the world. It is possible. We can. Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through Christ. We can. That child can become the glory of the family that we were child. Because we stay hopeful. And that hope is, is, not, is not just, just have our, our hands folded. We are acting in line with God's word. I believe in this country, I tell you. I believe in this country. I believe in this country. And I think 
Such, much of such has to do with, with upbringing. When you bring up children and you always talk down on the, on the country and you always rubbish things, things are, that are happening and you talk down and abuse the leader and all of that, then we grow up feeling that there's nothing to look, there's nothing about this, the, the country. But I grew up with parents who you dare not refer to the president and say, eh, Buhari, say, what? Why did you say? Come back here. Change that language. That is your president. And so I love this country. I believe in this country. A few days ago, I was with, with, with some, some sisters. We always just, 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 just about, about Nigeria. And, and I said, wait a minute. Where's your PVC? You know, what took, took me there was, there's this WhatsApp message that, that, that was uh, going around, and I saw it, of a woman praying, I don't know why, praying with a Bible in her hand. And she was, you could see that, ah, Adura. And then God now showed up and gave her a PVC and said, take this also. A lot of us talk, talk, talk. I said, how about you, sister? How about your PVC? Uh, actually, say, he, he, he. actually, how about you also? Three of them, how about you? Uh, he. How about you also? Actually, when I went, my God, from today, the three of you, you have no mouth. Talk again about, about this country. Nigeria can change. Can I hear you say amen? amen. Fuel go surplus. ATM go the poor money. Amen. How bad Nigerians? Woman naked for bank. Na Chris. If if money finish for ATM, brain also, also don't, don't finish. How bad? What is the purpose of that? That you are so aggrieved. Our own things are, our own things are always in the excess. But the point is this. God is saying to us, people of God, rest is ours. Peace, calmness, confidence, security that come from absolute trust in God. As we stay close to him, we stay focused on him. And as we stay hopeful, and because we are hopeful, our utterances will show it. We close on Hebrews 10, 23. Hebrews 10, 23. Let us hold fast. The what? The what, church? The please, can you, can you please answer me, church? Hold fast to what? The confession of what? Our hope. Glory to God. Our hope. Our hope. For he is faithful who has promised us. Your home can work. That business can rise again. It can. Because we serve a living God. Things can change for the better. Because of Jesus. Please rest up, up, up on your feet. Let us just give God thanks for his word to us. Just give God thanks for his word to us this morning. We are still in the morning. Thank him for his word to us. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you, O oh God. We thank you for our nation. We thank you, Lord, for all that is happening around us. We will know what to do, Lord. We will not vote for the wrong people. Lord Almighty, we know that we should be represented. And so, Lord Almighty, by virtue of that being contrary to your word, we know who not to vote for. Lord, help our leaders, O oh God. 
a few days from now we will we, 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 we choose that leader that you will give unto us that will put us by your help on our feet again Lord we thank you for our marriages we thank you for our different experiences our children loved ones whatever it is please talk to God talk to God for, your, for, your, for yourself talk to God for yourself Lord we decide oh God Lord I make up my, 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 my mind Father come what may rain or sunshine I will stay close to you I will stay close to you Lord I will stay focused on you whatever your word does not accommodate I have no place for it in my heart oh God. Lord you will help me father you will help me glorious God beautiful King Excellent God, we bow before your throne. Lord, you are Alpha and you are Alpha. Worship you, our God. You are worthy to be praised. Blessed be your name. Worries of life, 
cares of this world. And now you are on, on medication. Lay your hand on yourself. Diabetes. That sickness is from the pit of hell. Medically, it's like a magnet. You know a magnet? It attracts all metals around. Attracts high blood pressure. Attracts blindness. Attracts kidney failure. It is... It... Lay your hand on yourself. Whatever ailment you are here with today, Jesus paid the price. He paid in full. He paid in full. We focus on him, the light of the world. We back the enemy. We focus on him. And so we are passing through that valley. And goodness and mercy alone upon our lives. Whatever that ailment is called, for yourself or for a loved one far away, God's spirit knows no distance. He touched me. Oh, oh he touched, touched me. me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And oh, Thank you, Lord, the God of the joy that fills my we soul. We believe, oh God. Just thank him. Lord, we thank you. We thank you. In your presence, there is fullness of joy. Whatever is not making your children's joy to be full, thank you because every such is addressed to God. Not by power, not by mind, but by your spirit, oh God. Thank you, Father. Thank you for ease in our land. Thank you for ease, oh God. Thank you for a better future, Lord. Thank you for grace abounds towards us, O God. Thank you and thank you and thank you, Lord. Lord, we give you praise. You may have your seat. Talo da bire oluwa. Talo da bire. That song says there is none like you, Lord. There is no one as powerful as you. Amongst all the powerful, there is none that we can compare with you. Oh, Father, we worship you. You have before you right now some issues that you did not even bring to God when we were praying. Because you thought it's too far gone. Nothing can really happen. You have given up. Hope does not make us shame. God is saying to you, bring it to me now. Bring it to me now. For I am able to do cast it at my at my feet drop it there consciously today once and for all drop it there drop that anxiety with me once and for all whenever the thought comes to your heart 
lift up your voice and just begin to worship God. Because on the fifth day of February, I dropped it all at his feet. I have no cares any longer. I have no worries. And make sure you come before God's people to testify of what the Lord has done. You are here this morning, you are not yet a born again Christian. You haven't given your life to Christ. You, you come to church, at least you are in church right now, or you are online watching but you know that you know that you know that should death come now you are not ready to meet God there is a heaven to go to that was why Jesus Christ came for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that anyone who believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life there is a hell to shun. Those who have had death experiences that God allowed to come back. I mean those who were certified dead. And God gave them a chance to come back. Every one of them has the similar account of darkness. in one place agony and then they saw lights they went towards the lights and they found themselves here on earth are you still playing church <clears throat> tomorrow might be too late please give your life to Jesus anyone there Heads are bowed, eyes are closed. I want to pray with you. Many years back, I did this in a Baptist church. I was baptized, all right, in my home church. I was confirmed, but I was confused. Until I heard this simple gospel. And that day, I met Jesus. You are here today. You want to do the same thing I did many years ago. Lift up your hand and I will pray with you. Very simply, very simply, very simply, very simply. Just have your hands lifted up and I will just pray with you. Any man, don't be shy. I did this some years ago. And that remains the singular, most important thing I have ever done in my life. Anybody? anybody and I will pray with you let's give the Lord thanks for his word to us this morning let's thank God for his word when a father talks to his children you don't clap for your father you can clap for an inaugural lecture you can clap for a speech but when your father talks to you in church, you bow your head and you take it and you respond to it. Let's just respond to our father and thank him for his word towards us. And what are we going to do about it? I'll pray for needs. Can just rise up if that need wasn't brought earlier everlasting father for anyone everyone who is standing with that need oh god that was not prayed for earlier on lord in your presence oh god we stand father lord we receive your power to address thank you lord in jesus name give lord thanks give him thanks thank you Thank you.